Population mode is a concept where we can switch uh, uh, dialogue or process uh, into background or process, background or process is into dialogue or process. Uh, say, for example, during a daytime, we need a more number of dialogue or processes. Since the number of uh, users uh, logging into the daytime is more. So during a night time, the less number of users are logging in so that you can uh, convert a dialogue or process into background or process during a daytime background or process uh, into dialogue or processes. So, so uh, in, in just in, uh, instead of increasing the, if you increase the more number of dialogue or background or process, uh, so it, it consumes a system resources and, and memory of the system. So to avoid that we, we can, uh, configure operation mode in the system. How to configure the operation mode in the system? First, we need to create operation mode. Let me go to uh, uh, um, the decode RZ04 here. Click on the create. I'll select the option uh, here. I'll name the operation mode as a day. Okay, uh, so to utilize maximum number of process. I'll create one more operation mode, night. To utilize maximum number of work process. I'll become safe. So we need to create, a, now we have created a two operation modes, day and night. Now we need to check, uh, we need to assign this operation mode. Uh, in a day, how many work processes are required? In night, how many dialogue work processes are required or how many background work processes are required? So you click on the here instance for operation mode. So the existing one, let me delete. Now you have to click on uh, the create a new instance. Here, you have to enter the host name. Uh, in order to find the host name of the system, you can go to SM51. Here, host name is ESP4. Enter ESP4. Okay, so what is the host number here? 58 is the host number here. I have entered the host number 58. Profile name, start profile you have to select. So the respective start profile, here, this is the valid start profile, start. And I will go to the instant profile, select the valid instance profile here. First one is the valid instance profile. Out of 24 uh, work processes, 13 are dialogue work process, uh, six are background work processes. Okay, so now when I click, when you click on that, we got an error does not contain any error yes now we need to assign the operation mode so i'll first i'll assign our process to the uh, dialogue operation mode what i will do so during a dialogue we need a more number of uh, uh, sorry during a uh, daytime we need we need a more number of dialogue process so here uh, what i will do i'll increase other uh, two dia like out of six background work process, I will convert two background work process into dialogue work process, work process. So that here out of six, it will uh, reduce by two, it will become a four and 13 plus two, it will become a 15. So I'm there here, I'll reduce it. Now see dialogue 15 and the background is four. I click on save button, yes. Now I have the one more operation mode. So during a night, we need less number of uh, dialogue work process. What I will do, I will increase background work process. I will make it as 10, uh, 8 uh, background work process. Then remaining 11 will become a dialogue. Click on save. Yes. Again, it is asking, we have done. Exit. Exit. Then we can no, no. See here, day fifteen uh, dialogue process will be running, and uh, background four processes during the night 
11 dialogue purposes, 8 background purposes. So we need to assign the time now. You have to click on save. Okay. In order to assign a time, you can go to uh, go back again in the operation mode. Click on the timetable here. Click on the change. Okay. So it will take you to the T code. Uh, it will take you to the T code SM63 also, or you can directly go to the, if you want to assign a timetable, you can go to the timetable SM63 also. Then click on the change option. Here, I wanted to assign. So till morning six o'clock, I will assign, I have selected 002, early morning six o'clock, I will assign a night operation mode. Okay, so morning 6 to then 7 o'clock, evening 7 o'clock, will assign, we'll assign a day operation mode. In the evening, I will assign night operation mode. Yes, then click on save. So we have created operation mode. We have assigned our process to the operation mode. Third one in SM63, we have uh, defined the time, like uh, what time, what operation mode has to set. Now we have to activate it. Now let us go to the, uh, how, how do we activate? We go to the RZ03, then select the operation mode. Here, go to the utilities, sorry. Uh, you go to the control here, switch operation mode, selected servers. Now, uh, now it is a time uh, is two o'clock, five p.m. So hence the this operation mode is switching to day. Yes. Okay. Now let us check cross check during daytime. How many work process? See. Let me click on, I went to RZ04, I click on a day. In during daytime, 15 dialogue work process and four background work process. Now let me open a new session. I'll go to SM51 here. Okay. Zero to 12, it means 13 uh, dialogue work process, see here. This is actually a background work process. It is converted into dialog 14. This is another dialog work process which is converted into uh, converted into another background work process which is converted into dialog work process. During night time, again uh, the, uh, the defined number of uh, dialog work process will be converted to background. Background work process will convert it into dialog. So, but the problem of this uh, operation mode is, it's not a problem whenever you change the parameter, like either if you change a dialog, dialog uh, parameter or if you change uh, the background parameter, again, you need to reconfigure it. That is a manual thing. So uh, that's it for this video. Thank you.